Hi, this is Russ Hardy with Field Peace Instruments, and I'm going to show you the SCM3. The SCM3 is a standalone carbon monoxide detector with a very fast reaction time. The SCM3 is an important tool in every HVAC technician's toolbox because it can help hunt down sources of potentially life threatening poisonous gas. What's great about the SCM3 is that it's very easy to use and has a very fast response time. There's a mute button that allows you to mute the beeper on it. The beeper will beep as it's measuring CO and will get faster as the parts per million get higher that this SCM3 is measuring. And when it hits 30 parts per million, a loud beeper will go off to warn you that you're in high levels of CO. There is a max button that it will hold the max on the bottom of the display. It, uh, the, the top of the display holds the parts per million that you're currently measuring and the max will hold the ma maximum that you've measured. The SCM3 is ruggedized, it comes with a rubber boot and it can take the punishment of time in the field, bumps, bounces, drops, and plain old abuse. The SCM3 can handle it. There's a 15 minute auto power off that will save battery life, so the battery life will last a long time. Bright blue blue backlight that I can turn on or off when I'm in an attic, and that I, um, you know, is when it's hard to see. And there's a magnetic magnetic hanger on the back to get it out of the way when you're not using it. I have a metal tank right here of CO, and I can hang it just like that on there. And you know, if there's any metal around, that's where I can hang it to get it out of the way. So basically, how the SCM3 works is first you turn it on, hold the button down for a second and it starts the countdown. All CO sensors need to stabilize before they're ready to go and the SCM3 does a little countdown so you know exactly when it's ready. Now I'm going to hook it up to a CO tank just so I can show you, can show you how it does in action. So the sensor is ready to go. First thing I'm going to do is the, the mute button is, is uh, I can turn the mute button on or off and you can hear it beep. I'm going to turn it on so you can see what happens when it hits a large amount of CO. I'm also going to press the max button so it start, it's going to display my maximum parts per million right on the bottom display right here. So here I go. I'm going to turn on the tank. Just give it a slight little turn. And you know, it'll start going up real quickly. So we got 15. So at 30, it starts going off like that. Now it's measuring up to 235, 300 parts per million. And this would be a very high measurement. Now, if you want that buzzer to go off, when it hits 300, it does that buzzer. But if you want it to go off, you can press the mute button to go on. However, what's nice about that buzzer is as you're walking through a house, you know, testing, testing your um, customer's uh, furnace, what happens is they hear that beep, they really understand that something really is wrong, and then you're able to uh, get that, you know, able to sell them on actually fixing their, their furnace because it's unhealthy to have it like that. Carbon monoxide is an odorless, colorless, and toxic gas. Because it is impossible to see, taste, or smell the toxic fumes, CO can kill you before you're aware of it is in your home. It's produced by combustion equipment that burn fuels such as natural gas, oil number two, or propane, like the common heat household heater. At lower levels of exposure, CO causes mild effects that are often mistaken for the flu. The effects of CO exposure can vary greatly from person to person depending on age, overall health, and the concentration and length of exposure. This is why having the SCM3 in every HVAC technician's tool bag is so important. Now there's a zeroing feature on this meter. And you notice I have the max up here. And the zero, how the zeroing function works is by holding this button for one second, it clears out the measurements and establishes a new zero point with, from which the SCM3 will measure. However, for safety reasons, it won't let me zero it out until I'm under five parts per million. Because if I zero it out now and it let me, that means I would be starting at 15. And so that would give, be giving me false, uh, false measurements. So what you want to do is let it, let it go down to below five parts per million before you zero it out. All right, now that we are below five parts per million, I'm just gonna press the zero button, hold it out. It says zero, it displays zero on the screen. I can let it go, and now it's just gonna go to zero. That's how the SCM3 works.